All right, so um, this is going to be a, a general weekly tarot reading uh, for Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Leo Rising, April 6th to April 12th, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. And as well there, uh, you can find a, a section of a tarot classes. And if you want to, you can sign up for them. Uh, in, and in those tarot classes, I'm going to um, not describe, but explain you was the word that I was searching for. Um, the tarot cards in relation to career, in relation to relation to relationships as well, and how you look at them into a specific spread, how to take them, how to interpret them in the different positions in uh, the spread that we are using. So uh, that being said, moving to the spread straight away. Now the first one here, which represents the topic of your week, Leo, is going to be the Ten of Swords. Moving next, we do have the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic. And although the first card looks very morbid, that's actually not the case because the energies are completely reversing its meaning. Uh, what I mean is that it happens for a greater good or for the better. I don't know how to say it in English. Well, pretty much you can expect that good things are to happen just for looking at those two cards here. Moving next, it is the challenge that you have to overcome here. No surprise, we do have throughout the week, I mean, no surprise, we do have the five swords. And then it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy. That will be the page of uh, cups at that position, followed by the impression that you are leaving into the people around. No surprise, again, we do have the chariot at that position. And the last one, which is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. Uh, we have the Eight of Cups, so there is no mistaking it here with this uh, with this week or with the reading of that week. It is that you gotta let something go. Either that could be unsuccessful relationship, very bad maneuvering job, or you, you just have to make your peace with it and just let it go, so you can clear up your future for a much good things to happen, which are coming here because the page into the fourth position does not represent a person. It's uh, very seldom that that is the case, but it's just how it goes with this uh, with this narrative. And we're going to look at it in a few minutes. But first, let's uh, have a look at the first two cards, which are the most important here. We have the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Very contradictive cards, cards one for the energies and another for the situation. So what happens throughout the week it is that those energies are going to push you, and I mean physically like pushing you, or it's going to guide you into a circumstances which are going to, uh, how can I say it? Well, uh, suffice to say, or the very least, we can say that they're going to make you very exhilarated. Why? Well, it is because usually the circumstances that are manifesting through the Ace of Cups they predispose for a um, a pure love to take place. And under pure love, I don't only mean that, you know, you're going to fall in love with someone, which could be the case, but that means that whatever you are to experience, you are going to love that you are experiencing that thing. So therefore, you, we can say here with the energies is that the energies are going to manifest throughout the week a very... And it is a surprising event. It happens out of nowhere that um, makes you enjoy your life. Now, that will be completely incompatible with the current circumstances that you are going through. And that's why you have to let the things go in one or another way, in one or another field. And that is can be seen here into the Ten of Swords, but we're going to go there in a minute. So with the Ace of Cups, uh, these surprising events or these surprising circumstances are going to transcend your reality into a very, very cherishable uh, uh, and um, exceptionally happy one. Uh, uh, pretty much what the card preaches it is that a spot in your heart that was once emptied is going to be refilled back again with joy. And nothing will look the same when you look at it through the overflowing joy that goes through your heart. Uh, and therefore, we can safely say here that your life, although may look grey up until this point, you may not 
kind of like seeing how the things are going to turn out for you in these very uh, unsustainable and, and how can I say it very insecure days with the quarantine and all that you may kind of have a fear of your relationship life in general again it's about life it's not about a specific one thing okay your relationship life may be not going on very well and you are very concerned with it well probably this is where then the uh, surprising event is going to take place and it's going to lead us or it's going to lead you leo to the situation itself which is the ten of swords so what that card points is in order for you to make full advantage or to take full advantage of this uh, very exhilarating event, event that happens, you have to let go of a reciprocally in nature or reciprocal in nature event that you are going through. So we are talking about here a replacement, right? So you may go, you, you may have a, a very bad relationship at that moment and then how the cards manifest it is that well they can manifest in many things but most likely it will be someone else that you will see that you are falling in love with and therefore you have to let go of your current relationship in term of job you are suspended for now say you know i mean you're not like fired but you are still a, a member of the company but the company isn't paying you because it's not working you know and that is a, a bad situation and someone else offers you a job so you have to let go of your current job and go to the new one if you want once again to take a full advantage of the good circumstances that are happening so something of this sort and i said that there are many ways that can manifest one other way that comes to my mind here say it is that for example you are going through a bad relationship but suddenly you find out that you are pregnant or that your partner is pregnant regardless and that puts a completely new rules there which are provoking the manifestation of the ten of swords where uh, the things are now i mean the knife is touching the bone and things cannot go the same way as they have been at that point and some irreversible actions and decisions needs to be taken and those actions and decisions are exactly the game changer here that are transcending your current despondent position or current despondent relationship or a job into a, a brand new one and if i have to give that example for a job as well that could be a um, a task that only you can do and then your company places full value over you and you see you know that you have to let go of your morbid expression toward the company that you are working for and actually attend to the task so uh what we can safely say with those two cards it is that i uh, an enormous opportunity will come to you throughout this week however you know you have to be strong enough to let go of an existing not very well going once again a circumstances that are very similar to the new replacement that comes uh into your um uh, into your environment you know into your present now moving next is the challenge that you will have to overcome here i said no surprise that we do have the five of swords that is because you are going to have the feeling of pity and regret okay so that will be the problem for you that will be the challenge to abandon it or forlorn it or let it go despite of what you are feeling within for example you may um see that your relationship is dysfunctional but you feel pity for your partner and that is the solo reason why you are together or why you are still with this person and you have to gather up the strength to once again like we said with the ten of swords to do the irreversible action here to just let it go and that's that and jump into the new replacement that comes in you know the new relationship that gives you the emotional satisfaction that improves your circumstances same thing about the job okay so the whole thing here with the five of swords it may look it may sound a bit um how can i say it not even morbid but um a bit rough that you gotta think first and foremost for yourself that is what the five of swords points and regardless of what kind of a damage your letting go kind of actions are going to inflict upon those around you gotta do it and the only challenge here is to overcome the sense of pity you do have toward the rest around of course you may decide not to do it but then you know you are trading 
uh, tra trading your happiness for the happiness of someone else. And if that is what's going to make you happy, be my guest and just do it. You know, just skip, you know, the uh, the circumstances that are going to make you happy. Uh, moving next is the um, gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy. Now, that will be the uh, page of uh, cups. And the Page of Cups points that you have the gift here throughout this week to attend to the overview. Not to stuck to the aggravating details, okay? But instead, look at what the big picture is going to be and what kind of a results this, um, this drastic measures of yours are, gonna, uh, are going to produce as you move forward into the future. Because that's the page is all about making a, 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 a reassessment of, a, of oneself, identifying that something needs to change. And in this particular case, the ide ide identification will come to that. I got to just let it go, you know, because otherwise I'm just stuck and stumbling into one place with no improvement, with no moving and with no growth whatsoever so i have to stop being attending to the uh, to the details here and attend to the overview and what is the overview i want to be happy i want to be successful and if the and if current enterprise which could be a relationship or a job does not allow me to do so well i have to let it go so moving next it is uh, the impression that you're going to leave into the people around that will be the chariot card. So with the chariot, people are going to see you very, very determined. It is like you place in front of yourself a fulcrum and nothing is in shape to stop you of charging toward that a uh, toward a that fulcrum. Therefore, people will see you with a big force that it's just it's a force to be reckoned with. Therefore, uh, for example, if your partner see you that you are distan distancing from, their, from them, okay, they will understand that this is because you have decided it that way and it's not because something temporary, okay, it's not because you, are, you don't have the mood, it is because you decide to do it that way and they will pretty much see what will be the end result of it or they will have an, an impression what will be the end result of it. The point with the chariot card it is that people will see you that this time around, Leo, you are uh, more concerned with how you're gonna end up at the end rather than how you're gonna look at the end and uh, luckily for you with this card uh, you are going to face a, a huge amount of improvement Mo the majority of those around you are actually going to encourage you to do what you plan to do or rather like to live um, or uh, let it let go of the enterprise that simply does not serve you any favor and even more than that is dragging you to be left behind and uh, the very last card here which is the guidance that Taro is offering uh, I said no surprise once again that we do have this one that will be the eight of cups which is exactly what it says you know while the current situation it is misfortunate or you're it, you're not happy with it okay uh, by letting it go, a much brighter perspectives are to emerge in front of you. So sometimes what the card says as a guidance is that we have to make our peace with it, that there is nothing more we can do, no matter how much we count on it, no matter how much we um, hang on into it, no matter how much we feel pity for it. Sometimes things are, are reaching their outer limits and that limit is not something that we are satisfied with. I will have to try our chances with something new and luckily for you Leo that something new comes about comes about in this week and only thing you gotta do is stop neglecting yourself because I don't want to say be selfish but stop neglecting yourself your needs and as well your yearnings and just replace whatever doesn't work in your life with this new functional enterprise so that being said, Leo, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys, uh, for a April 6th to April 12th, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such a finding the all the list of my services and their pricing at the very front page of the website. And as well, you're going to find there a, um, a tarot classes sections uh, by signing up for the tarot class. It is a, a live tarot class and it will pretty much give you the understanding of uh, the major arcana for now this is the beginner's tarot class 
to the major arcana, how to interpret them in relation to career, in relation to relationship, and into the spread that we are using with uh, our uh, my uh, co courses as it's a pretty universal spread so hopefully by the end of the class you will be sorted out by reading major arcana for regardless of what kind of question you are surprised uh so yeah that that being said this was all for from me for now and hopefully you're gonna stay safe and see you around until then bye